The UPDF-led Operation Wealth Creation is committing resources to fight the army worm reported in 56 districts. Over 20 districts among those affected will receive a pesticide known as Striker to help in averting the deadly army worm which has devastated crops across the country. Agriculture Minister Vincent Sempija revealed how the worm was first detected in Kasese, Kayunga and Bukedia where it was discovered to have destroyed over 40% of the crops in the field. Government has allocated 4.5 billion to fight the army worm. The destructive stage of the pest is the caterpillar stage. It can be identified by its inverted Y mark on the front of the head and four large spots towards the end of the abdomen. The army worm consumes more than 80 plant species, which include cereals and legumes. Colonel Stephen Kashure, the director of operation, at Operation Wealth Creation distributed over 90 boxes of the striker pesticide at the Ministry of Agriculture stores. The army worm hides itself during the day. It fears heat. If you spray during the day, you will have wasted the pesticide. When spraying, he nozzle, nozzle, the nozzle he, which sprays, eh? the end which looks like this. Lasma, especially on maize, make sure you spray in the, in the shoot. There you must point direct because the caterpillar is hiding in that part. More than 90 boxes have been distributed here and more are still lying in this store for distribution uh, to several districts that have been affected by the army worm. Each box contains 10 tins and each tin contains one liter of striker. However, the concern is whether these professional soldiers are well equipped with the knowledge to be able to teach farmers on how to use these chemicals. I know you will be asked many questions. They will challenge you. You do not know this. You are not trained. You are, not, you, you are not an expert in this. You are not an, an extension worker. But this is not rocket science. It's not rocket science. The only thing you have to do is to, to know the, how, what, the amounts that you can use when. To avoid the sale of fake products on the market, government has approved three companies through NARO to distribute pesticides across the country. These are Bukola Chemical Industries, Nsanja Agrochemical Limited, and Uganda Crop Care Limited. Andrew Adinitwe, NTV, Kampala.